What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel where I show you where to find unique weapons and armor in Skyrim. In this video I'll be showing you how to get the best pet follower and two unique items. Firstly, the Rueful Axe which does 22 damage a hit compared with the Daedric Axe that does 25 damage. The difference is that you can get the Rueful Axe a lot earlier. Anyway, the Rueful Axe is enchanted to do 20 points of stamina damage to the enemy. It's pretty useful for getting past the enemy's block. Next is the Mask of Clavicus Vile. This mask has 23 armor, the same as a Daedric helmet, so that's really good. It also has a unique enchantment that gives you 20% better prices and a 10 point boost to speech, which is just fantastic. It also boosts your Magicka regeneration by 5%, so it can be a very useful item. The unique follower is called Barbus. He's a demon. The interesting thing is that if you don't complete the quest or delay completing it, you can use him as a follower. You can tell him to stay, wait, and he pretty much acts like any normal pet. He's in fact one of the strongest pets. He's strong enough to kill most weaker enemies in one hit, and he makes for a very effective decoy against stronger enemies, as he can't die. He's literally the best tank in the game. If he gets low on health, which by the way, rarely happens, he will run away for a few seconds before returning to the fight as soon as he can, to kick some more ass. The only way Barbicus can be killed is by you, so just be careful that you don't kill him. Even if you wanted to kill him, he's pretty hard because he can take so many hits. He levels with you up to about 50, so he's easily the best pet follower in the game. Anyway, to start this quest, you must come to Falkyrie. Once you are level 10, the guards will ask you if you have seen a dog. Just say no and they will direct you to the local blacksmith. Did you see a dog out there? I don't know really. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. Head over and speak with the Lord. I suggest activating the quest in your journal, as it's very easy to lose track of this one. Just ask Lord about the dog. If you see a hound on the road, a fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. I asked the gate guards to look for him. I can't afford to chase him down, but could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep him company. If you are willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. Make sure you try and persuade him for your help. He will then give you 25 gold. You don't need to do this, it's just extra money. Ah, oh. smart to demand something up front. Some gold now and some when I have my dog. Here's the meat. So travel west of Falkyrie, along the road, and you will find Barbus the dog. Talk with him, yes he's a talking dog, and offer to help. He will tell you to follow him to his master's shrine. You are exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, I think it'll be just what I need. You see, my name is Bobbis, and I have a problem I think you can help sort out. My master and I had a, a bit of a falling out. We got into an argument and it got rather heated. He's kicked me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. Thank you. Now since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's Shame. We should be able to talk to him there. If this works out, I'll make sure you're rewarded. And just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay? It's a bloody long journey. Make sure you follow him all the way there. If you don't, it can lead to quest bugs where he'll just disappear and never be found again. If he ever waits or just stops, simply check ahead and see if there's any doors or, or people blocking the way. He's a very fussy dog. Barbus, what the hell are you doing? What the- he's doing fucking backflips. 
<laughs> what the hell? Eventually, he will lead you to the cave. It's a really long walk, but when you finally arrive, head on inside. The cave is full of vampires, be sure to kill them all. I'm using the Dawnbreaker, a unique sword which does ridiculous damage to undead enemies. It makes them explode when you kill them, which is pretty fun. If you want Dawnbreaker for yourself, just check out the link in the description on where you can get it. It's another Daedric artifact you need Oblivion Walker achievement. Once you reach the final room, you will be faced with more vampires to kill. Barbus will be helping you all this time though, so don't worry, he's an absolute beast. When the fighting is done, talk to the Daedric God. By all means, let's hear it. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. They were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure. Then you came and ended their misery. I couldn't have planned it better myself. He will send you to reclaim the Rueful Axe off a mage who took it, saying he needed it to cure his daughter of, vamp of vampirism. Head to the cave, it's just here on the map, it's down the side of the cliff. I think it's funny how Clavicus Vile, the Daedric God, thinks that to cure somebody means to kill them, put them out of their misery. <laughs> anyway, head inside the cave and there are a few Atronotchers to kill, and there's also one named Mage Boss. You don't even need to kill them, you can just run inside and take the axe and then run off again. Make sure after you've killed them though, that you loot this boss chest. It's just down inside the cave, back here. You have a choice now. You can either keep Barbus as a follower and take him with you throughout Skyrim, and even keep the Rueful Axe for yourself, or you can complete the quest and return Barbus. There is no time limit, so you can do whatever you like, whenever you like. But to complete the quest, just head back to the shrine. Once there, talk to the Daedric God for the last time. Ah, you've got the axe! And my dog! Splendid! Excellent work! A hero and his faithful companion retrieving the ancient artifact for the prince. It's almost... storybook. Ah, oh, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that. He will give you a choice. You can kill Barbus and keep the Rueful Axe for yourself, or you can give him Barbus and the axe back, and he will reward you with the unique Mask of Clavicus Vile, which you need if you want the Oblivion Walker achievement. The choice is up to you. I really hope this guide helped you out guys, and for more unique weapons, builds and guides, check out the link in the description. Or you can just subscribe to stay up to date with my latest build guides and easter egg videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.